strong, but it was not to be for us. How, how disappointed are you uh, as being a member of uh, the supporters club? Uh, I, I saw you chanting for the Eagles that particular day, but it was not to be for us. Um, well, um, on a lighter mode, I will say I wish they had eaten some of their band <laughs> before coming on board. Maybe they would have done justice. But football game, it happens like that sometimes, you know. And don't forget, this is their first time in the international match, as in as Africa. You know, these guys are local players. There could be a bit of tension. They could be maybe they needed something more to boost their morale because they did very well against Niger yeah. and even against Tunisia. So we really don't know what must have gone wrong. But all the same, there's always a next time. That's at least the consoling <laughs> issue. There's always a next time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And now let's keep uh, moving. Uh, we we'll have uh, yeah, Maradona here, um, a Rwandan. He's been very, very good to us also. He stays in Yamirambo where uh, the Super Eagles uh, had a 1-1 one -one draw against uh, Tunisia. He loves Nigerians uh, so much. In fact, he's saying he's going to follow me back to Lagos uh, when I get back to Nigeria. And in fact, he wants to go to Ojo Elegba. I never know who told him about Ojo Elegba. Now, Maradona, who told you about Ojo Elegba? Uh, I like you, Ojo Leba, in Nigeria, in Kenya, Rwanda. Munda Ojo Leba, have a Nigeria boss. Kind of a kunda, yes. Okay, so Maradona, when me, I'm going back to Nigeria next week, you follow me to Ojo Leba. So you see Nigeria very well. Dashakuza and Mare Muri, Nigeria. Zavin Shutian, Dabakunda. Peace. Peace. Yeah. The only thing I understand here is Murakozi. Uh, Murakozi. That is a thank you. Murakozi Chani. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. Let's keep uh, going. We have uh, someone else here. He's not in this uh, particular hotel, but uh, for the first time, he's, uh, he's with us. Let me just say, let, let me tell our viewers now, for the first time since we've been in Rwanda for almost three weeks now, this is the first time we'll be having full Laos. Every other Nigerian journalist are scattered around Rwanda here in this particular hotel, Shangri-La Hotel, Kigali, Rwanda. I would like him to also uh, talk to us. He just uh, finished eating uh, pounded diam outside there. And after um, uh, uh, gulping pounded diam inside of him, we expect him. Okay, he's, he's saying he wants more. I just want him to just talk. So. Okay, my name is David. I arrive for Complete Sport. It's, it's wonderful to be here tonight. I've been here for three weeks now for me. I can't do without Pepe, you know. Honestly, one of my biggest regrets not being with these guys here tonight, but they invited us over to come and have a wonderful meal. And I must confess, I was never disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. So I really want to thank those who put this thing together. It's a nice one. The camaraderie here is wonderful. I hope this Nigerian journalist will last in, learn a lot from this. So once you go elsewhere, it's always good to do things together so that you can, you can make a home wherever you are to become your home. It's wonderful to be here tonight. Wow, very, very nice. Now, leaving um, the hotel, uh, you have a um, versatile experience when it comes to um, covering international competitions here and there. W what, what do you feel happened to the Super Eagles? I've had I've, I've had several journalists around here in Rwanda, even those are not Nigerian journalists. We needed just a goal against the Guinea, but we didn't get it. What went wrong? I think those players were just the, the, the street fright took its toll on them. That's my belief because I did add uh, Olise brought a little larger part of those players who featured two years ago to this tournament. They will have got gathered more in experience. They will not be afraid. The, the complex world will not set in. These guys are, most of them are playing in their fourth major international tournament. And for me, people, should, people are asking too much for them to go beyond the first round. I'm sorry to say that. Because I know in Africa, no team is little, no team is small. But let us be honest with ourselves. I still want to blame the NFF. They don't do their bit very well concerning players' upkeeps. Once the man works, he deserves his wages. Once you don't pay them well, they have family, they have children, they have to feed at home. We can't blame everybody, but then it has come and gone. We have to learn from it and move on. That's just my own, my own view for about Super Eagles. Okay, let me pick it up for moving on. Now, talking about moving on, we have a two-legged affair against um, Egypt. Uh, we play one here in Nigeria and we'll go back uh, to Egypt to play them. For me, I, I, I feel if we get four points against uh, Egypt, we should, do, we should be home and dry to qualify for the Nations Cup. Do you feel we can get uh, 30 points here in Nigeria and also a point in Egypt? Is that possible? It's not as easy as you think, my brother. I know the, the Pharaohs are one of the best teams there. I've taken time to add a lot of talk with their coach. He, he, I knew he had a very good plan. Right there when Keshi was still there, I, don't, I had to call him all the way from Cairo. He told me, look, anytime they are coming to Nigeria, they are not going to come to lose. That's my fear. I will really prepare for this game. Who are we going to be inviting? The time is so short. I, I think the NFF should just put the house in order first. When the house is in order, you can do a lot you want to do. 
we don't keep fighting one another and expect so to get a win. It will rub on the team himself because nobody will be there to cheer the players on. I remember when we lost to Guinea when Keshi was there, that was because there was this faction between NFL. I don't want to go there now, but Egypt is going to be a difficult point. If Nigeria can get the three points, they shouldn't bother about the results in Cairo. Just get three points there. They go and think about it again because it's going to be difficult even in Nigeria to get three points. Be very difficult. Thank you very much. Now let, let's keep uh, moving around. Um, sorry, guys. I'm about uh, the lightning. You know, this is called a uh, Rwanda diary, and it's just a first out thing. We are not really prepared for this, so I have to come to where the main event is happening. This is um Unkozi. He has been eating and eating and eating. So Unkozi, how are you enjoying tonight's meal? Oh, lovely food, lovely meal, lovely everything about it. This is Nigerian, totally, totally Nigerian, and we we'll give we we'll give our uh, sponsor the glory. God, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, we were told to order for what uh, we like. Um, uh, people ordered for pounded yam, uh, rice, um, uh, ebba. What did you order for? A-K-P-U. Akbun. Aku. Hi, as an Igbo man from Enugu State. That is really And that, that is what I have taken now, now. Okay, now talking about our cow for that lady, how are we going to do it? It is four. It is four cows. Unkozi, you are paying that money. Okay, I will soon come back to you. But now let's talk to our Papa also. Our Papa, how did you enjoy tonight's meal? Oh, this is very wonderful. Uh, for a long time now, we have been having a, a rice with chips and uh, peli peli. Now, to, today we are having our real local food. And I'm telling you, this is the best way to go. Oh, wow, wow. Hello, yes. Now we have to talk to you, just as you are gulping the water. Hello, I hope you are not shy tonight. I'm shy because I'm eating. <laughs> well, I lie. See, I finished my goosey. Can you see? Hello, what did you order for? What did you order for? Eba. Eba. But, sorry, Eba, goosey. But I ended up eating pandonyam. But Omo Yonya must not chop pandonyam. Oh, yeah, me. I manage it. But all thanks to God. And to. See, this woman here. This woman here. <laughs> what is it? That, that want to put the man anonymous. <laughs> so, anonymous or minimus? Minimus. Okay. The man is minimal, but he has done great. He has fettered us. 17 Nigerian journalists. Even we even imported journalists down here. Now lie at the chop. I see the chop. Okay now let's quickly come over to Emeka. Emeka one. Emeka, what are you eating? Epa. And it's taking one do you have? Open guard, daughter. Open guard, daughter. Hey, make a one. It's very, very delicious, my brother. It's very interesting and fantastic. Very, very delicious, my brother. What are you going to tell Potakot people? Away from home. This is home, away from home. Away from home. So what will you tell Potakot people now? Before you see, I've been getting for this. In fact, Rosemary here bought uh, a goosey for 15,000 Rwandan francs. Mm -hmm. And we are yet to taste the goosey. But today, the dream has come through. You know, this is delicious, honestly. Yeah. Where's I inadequate to es uh, explain or express how you know, delicious this soup is? Hmm. This is typical Igbo cuisine. Igbo cuisine. I'm going to take back to Nigeria. Now, Emeka, talking about uh, the Super Eagles outstar, it looks like we have forgotten about the disappointment of the Super Eagles. Everyone is having fun tonight, um, eating uh, a bar, a goosey. Have you forgotten about the disappointment of the Super Eagles? We have to move on, my brother. If we continue to lament over the early elimination of the Super Eagles, we are, how long are we going to continue doing that? Teams that are better prepared have moved on the competition. Of course, we are journalists. We have come to cover both the Eagles and the entire competition. The Eagles, unfortunately, were eliminated. We have to move on, definitely. We have, as you can see, we are all enjoying ourselves here. Yeah? The Eagles are no longer in Kigali, but we are here in Kigali, enjoying ourselves. So, as it stands, it's left for the Eagles to go and they prepare for subsequent tournaments. But for us here, yeah, we will enjoy ourselves, Eagles or no Eagles. Thank you. Okay, talking about uh, enjoying ourselves, well, also my own rice is uh, there waiting for me. I'm looking for journalists around. Oh, I've seen Kelechi here. Oh. Hey, Kelechi, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, is everything? Fine. You ordered for rice and beans. It almost uh, caused a uh, quarrel there. What's that? Uh, the rice and beans. Where is your own rice and beans? Have you finished it? No, I'm... Are people eating? Yes, they have been eating. I've been walking. Yeah, no, 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 no. I saw you taking rice there. No, you guys are enjoying. Na lie, na lie, na lie, they talk. Na lie, they talk. You don't shop rice with place, big place like this. Shop, shop, orishi, orishi. Put out together with dodo, ewa. Put, mix, everything. Is this a, is this a, is it, is it,
journalist. Yeah, he, he's a journalist. He's a journalist. Now I can confirm to you that uh, Kelechi just finished eating his rice, beans, and plantain. I have not tasted something like that in this country ah, for well, like, how many like, years? Like. Everything is in the stomach. <laughs> Whosoever ordered that food, oh, our God will bless him. Okay, now moving, moving. Also, we have uh, someone who hasn't been here with us uh, tonight. Uh, also from Complete Sports, he must say something because he has also taken his own pound of air bar. So, how do you feel tonight? Well, I will say this is the most happiest day of my life since I arrived here in Kigali. <laughs> I can't just believe it. Seeing it raw. Nigerian food, a goosey, and some fish that you can only get when you are in Nigeria. Um, this is the happiest day of my life, I want to say it, since I arrived here in Kigali. So uh, are you taking the Super Eagles out for the, for the tournament? Why, why they ask well, well, <laughs> well. I never well. since Nigeria for months. It's well, jumped for Shangri-La Hotel I, for Kigali. I, I, I shared tears on, on Tuesday, but you know in football, you can't win all the time. You win some and you lose some. So we almost we are getting we've gotten over it. Let me just put it that way. Nigeria, Egypt, back to back. What is your take? Well, it's going to be difficult, but we hope the best thing is for us to pick the three points here in Nigeria. Probably when we get to Cairo, then we pick up a point. But it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Talking about uh, being difficult, well, um, guys, this is our bar inside our Shangri-La Hotel. This is where we get to eat our meals um, in the morning for breakfast and also uh, for lunch and also for dinner. This is uh, the boss here, owner of our Shangri-La Hotel. He doesn't really speak uh, much of English, but I would like him to talk tonight, even though he doesn't want to talk much, but he's going to say something. Menakozi Rwanda. Menakozi Rwanda, Menakozi. Nigeria and greet you. No, Murawa, there is a true shimye. True shimye? True shimye, Kuwabo. Kuwa shimye. We are happy. We are happy to see you, to live with you. You, you are welcome. Okay. Miracozi, Miracozi. Now I have uh, the uh, the receptionist here. She must say something. Okay, so what are you going to tell us now? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm receptionist for Shani Grilla Hotel. I like. <laughs> I like. <laughs> uh, then I will go there. I like. I like. I we went, we went, we went to see Stella's parents, and they asked us for four cows. Four. In respect of who? In respect of Said. Said. Four cows. Four cows. Four. Stella. Four. Four. Eight. Eight cows. We will double it. Sixteen. In Nigeria, we will double it. Sixteen for Stella. Eight cows. Yeah. Why? It's too much. Much in Arguanda Chachu, Umkoga, Kunze, Moha, Inga, Ziri, and Gui, Eshatu. So, Stella, will you follow me back to Nigeria? Yeah, I, sure? I will follow you. Okay, we'll go back to Nigeria next week. There will be Nigeria then. No problem. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, now still moving on. Who else do we have around there? Everyone just having fun tonight. It's been heating and eating and eating. Okay, okay. What a rush is just coming. He's not taking his own pound of flesh. Never chop. Uh, uh, Matty, your job is waiting thing. for you. What is your job? You got chop. See, don't see, don't talk about it, single. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Where my food? Your food is waiting for you there. Okay, yeah. Uh, exactly. We just uh, spoke to me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we no Charles. Must say something. You must say something. Seriously, I've it's been, been fun, fun, fun all the way. I've been trying to get food ready for my guys, and I hope all of them will get their food. Some of them are just they just arrived now, and the food is not here yet. We are still waiting for their eba and a goosey soup, mm. like this. the likes of Mighty George, Toby Adekwaju Samuel, uh, myself, and Said too. He's here to eat his own food, so we are waiting for our Eba. Hopefully, we'll get our Eba. And if not, we'll sleep. At least, we are able to give food to all other people. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Now, let's uh, go back to our reception. This is um, 
This is where we got our food. This is where we got our food this evening. You got some guys there are trying to just um, uh, distract attention, but everything is going on in order. Guys, uh, let's not forget this is uh, called Rwanda 2016 Diary. It's just a first out. Thing. Nobody prepared for this. Uh, just moving around, making you guys know how we are feeling here in Rwanda. I must, I must commend um, our journalists around here. They've been able to go past um, uh, our house staff from the tournament. And even myself, though it was disappointing against Guinea, but I've been able to move on uh, past that. We've covered um, uh, several events. I'm talking about that tomorrow. Uh, DRLC will be playing uh, Guinea. And uh, guys, it's been a wonderful time. I was hanging out with you guys. Uh, just having fun here. Uh, freestyle uh, broadcasting here. Uh, coming from us live from Shangri-La Hotel. And I have uh, to, uh, Toby Adebo this time behind me. He has to say something. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, um, I think um, it is a great night because we are honored. I mean, even Nigerian based in Rwanda that says you really want to host um, all the journalists in Rwanda is something interesting <laughs> and something we really appreciate. 